<laughs> I'm so honored to be here tonight to help present this award to our director, Kenny Leon, who I feel so blessed to have met. We met a few years ago, and I would tell you the story of that another time. <laughs> but Kenny was the role of my student at that time, and I was his teacher. And it's been a wonderful journey to a role reversal where I have become his student. And I would just like to share a short story about the time that we spent together in the Berkshires working on our show. One day during rehearsal, Kenny came in and said he wanted to show me something outside on the street that he had seen on the way to rehearsal. And he was so surprised that there was a sign there, a street sign, to indicate it was a deaf child crossing. And I said to him, you know, those are all over the place. It's not new, it's very normal. And Kenny said to me, no, I mean, this is a man who has lived everywhere. And he said, I have never seen that anywhere in my life. And, I, and he said he sees it now because his eyes are open. And when I talk about Kenny, that is something he does all the time in his life in this industry. He shines because he makes all of our eyes open. So I've had the great joy of going through two rehearsal processes with Kenny. And there are not really enough superlatives that you can say about this man. He is the single most direct, demanding director I have ever worked for. for. He is also the hardest working person I have ever met. These shows live inside of his soul. They literally wake him up in the middle of the night and there is no person that he expects more of than himself when he does this, which gives us the space to try and create the truth that he demands from us. So as I was trying to think of what it was that I wanted to say to you, boss, it is this, I have never had a better set of eyes to work for. You are the most truthful and honest audience member I have ever come across, and what you demand from us has been the single most joyful thing I've ever had a chance to do, so it is such a joy for me to be able to be up here and present you with this award. It is my immense pleasure to present the Actors Fund Medal of Honor to Kenny Leon. <laughs> Thank you. I want to thank all of my brothers and sisters in this room. Some of you, we don't get a chance to meet each other, but I want to just thank you and to say I'm so glad to be in your army. So thanks. Um, about a month ago, I planned a trip to Italy. I've never been to Italy before, ever, in life. I had a friend, his name is Drew Scott. He's uh, the one half of the Property Brothers television show. He had a destination wedding in Italy. I agreed to go. I have a daughter in Amsterdam and a two-year-old grandson with her. We planned a family vacation. I was gonna go to the destination wedding and to see my two-year-old grandson and we were gonna stay for three weeks. I get a call from Brian Stokes Mitchell, <laughs> from Annette Benning, and I said, family, I have to go back. So I went Thursday, and I turned around to come back here Saturday.
And the reason I did that is because of this organization. They do so much for the life of actors, and many of us don't admit it, but none of us are going to get out of here alive. <laughs> so it's how we live this life, how we treat each other, how we respect each other, and artists are the center of life. We talk about life, we live life. So what better reason to leave my family and come back to my larger family because of the Actors Fund? And just to get real a little bit, uh, my, my uh, fellow nominees or awardees, uh, Uma Thurman, let me tell you, girl. <laughs> First of all, Samuel L. Jackson is one of my best friends in the world. And when I saw Pulp Fiction, to this day, that's my most favorite film and the work that you did on that. But when I saw you live in Parisian Woman, I was impressed, I was moved, and captivated. I saw you two weeks ago at the opening of uh, Carousel, and having never met you, I wanted to come to you and say how much I love you and your performance, but I got shy. So I'm saying it tonight. Thank you for that performance. I'm going to wrap this up, but Warren Beatty, I love your movies, but you made me most proud as a human being when I watched the Oscars this year. It was so much class and so much grace, what you did the first time and what you did the second time, so I want to thank you for setting an example of how to be a decent human being. And Cheetah Rivera, all your work is beautiful. But when I saw you get the Medal of Freedom from my president, <laughs> we just have to keep reminding ourselves that America is way bigger than all of our mishaps. And um, from all of my children of a lesser God family, not just because I worked on it, I want to thank you. This has been a joy of my life. But all of you in the room who haven't seen Children of a Lesser God, as produced by Hal Luftig, spend one day out of the next two weeks and go and see that production, because it's about us and how we need all of us all of us to have a more beautiful country. So I wish you would see that. And lastly, this award probably is, it's big. And it's big because it's about us and the decency of how we treat each other. And I promise you, I will use it as fuel as I prepare all of my work in the future. Thank you so much.